Hey guys, so we are at the Chrome Enterprise Summit. Uh, Google invited us to come up to this event, and it's not something that we would normally do, to be honest with you. Uh, the enterprise sector is almost like this different animal from the general consumer Chromebook sector, and uh, it's been a really cool trip, and there's a lot of stuff that we want to show you, but the general gist here is the fact that when it comes to enterprise, Chromebooks are a great fit for a lot of people, and over the years they've been a great fit for a lot of people, but They've not been a great fit for all businesses, and a lot of that has to do with application delivery. And so, if applications aren't on the web, it makes it really hard for Chrome OS to kind of be the right fit for a company. But what we're finding now is that we're in this momentum where there are so many more companies that have already moved all of their stuff to the web. And because of that, more and more adoption of Chrome OS devices and Chrome OS Flex devices is happening. And it's just really neat to see the momentum, to see all the ways that Chrome OS and Chrome OS Flex are being integrated into businesses of all sorts. And so uh, we just want to take you around some of these booths and show you how that's happening. So we were able to actually catch up and uh, hang out with Naveen here uh, from the Chrome Enterprise team or Chrome OS, Chrome OS team. Yeah. Yeah, everybody yeah. kind of blends together. Uh, but. <laughs> Specifically yesterday, uh, Naveen shared some things about just the kind of overarching story of how businesses have moved from, you know, not really having these web applications to, you know, that not really being as much of a hurdle anymore. So can you speak to that just a little bit? Yeah, it's it's one of the big trends that we're seeing, and I, I shouldn't say it's a new trend. It's It's been ongoing for many years now, but I think the where we're at right now in maybe the last couple of years, it feels like we're at this inflection point where businesses have clearly moved over and we have you know, notable large-sized organizations that are all web, meaning not mostly web, but all web. That's all. Awesome. So you have you know, employees that are using a endpoint and 100% web applications, and that's offering a lot of uh, you know, flexibility and increased security for businesses, and that's really been the ma main driver, I think. Uh, you know, kind of coming out of COVID, there were a lot of trends that started um, that I think are continuing to persist. The move to more uh, flexible deployment models, zero trust, um, different types of work models, hybrid, uh, remote, in office, and managing all of that coupled with this increased concern around security, that's just kind of motivated this move to a much more um, safe but powerful uh, application delivery mechanism, which is the web. And so we're seeing this kind of turning point right now and increasingly more and more businesses are actually like moving to that 100% web model. Awesome. Yeah. Very awesome. Well, hey, thanks cool. for your time. Yeah, thank you guys as Appreciate always. It. Take care. So what we want to do is that there's a bunch of booths here that just show off these capabilities we're talking about. And again, the idea here being that we're, we're moving into a situation now where more and more companies have moved to the web. They have web-based applications, they're using virtualization, all this kind of stuff. So it opens the door for all kinds of things like all of this. Like, no joke, this stuff's running Chrome OS. So you have these, I mean, unfortunately, most of us have probably seen these. You've had yourself or a loved one that's been in a hospital, some sort of clinic. You know what these are. This is what the nurse or the doctor goes in. They need to tap in, tap out pretty quickly. and you know, they need to save time doing that. They don't want to have some clunky uh, uh, password driven thing. They need to be able to tap in, tap out. Well, Chrome OS can do that. Uh, Chrome OS can handle that. So this is actually all set up to work. This would be the ID card, tap in, ready to go. And then I'm, I'm done with that one. I'm going to this next station. I need to tap in again. Tapped in, done, tapped out. And you know, these particular setups are running some virtualization so that certain, you know, legacy applications are working, but that can all be delivered via the web. So you've got these really complex, very specific use cases that just work uh, and, and they work at scale. And, and the best part about that is um, with them working at scale like this, that means all the admin stuff that is awesome about Chrome OS can be deployed in hospitals and clinics and stuff like that. And you don't have to worry about having all these different modules to handle all these different pieces of software. It can all be handled in the Chrome uh, admin console. And so there's also maybe a little bit less technical stuff going on behind the scenes too as well that uses Chrome in, in all these different healthcare situations. So while what we just looked at was hyper-technical and very specific use cases, uh, something as simple as televisions in hallways that, that can give signage around the hospital to help make it feel a little bit more friendly or 
you know, the television that is actually in the room where the patient is recovering or, or getting treatment, um, being able to have, you know, specific things like castability and, and applications, you know, on that screen so they can watch the content they want to help make them a little bit more comfortable. I mean, it's wild to see the number of ways that Chrome OS is getting utilized right now across all sorts of industries. So in this booth, um, everything is really focused around um, call centers. And a lot of people know that Chrome OS has been used in call centers for a long time. That's, I don't think that's a secret. But what they're doing right now, just in the OS, like out of the box in the OS, is super cool. So first, I mean, you've got all these pieces of hardware that are just works with Chromebook certified. So all these different headsets that these companies use just work out of the box, plug them in, no problem. And you can see up here, the ecosystem, I don't know these companies. If you're watching this, you may not know these companies either unless you work at a call center. But these are all the major call center softwares, all having native Chrome OS um, applications that work, all mostly web-based now, which is amazing. I just, it's just amazing to me. This has been so like eye-opening. Uh, these massive companies have decided, you know what, we're ready to deploy things on the web. I love it. You know that we love web-based stuff. Uh, I love web apps. I love the web as a platform. And so this has just been so cool. Um, but the one thing I'm gonna point out here that they showed us, I think you're kind of seeing this demo, so it might pop up while, while I'm talking. But now from an admin perspective, you can create a whole, a whole desk. So with Chrome OS Virtual Desk, a whole desk that has all the tools that uh, a call center rep would need. So when that call comes in, the desk opens, the software opens, all, all the tools open in that specific desk. They take the call, they do what they want. At the end of the call, they decide, okay, um, I, I'm done with this, I can close it all, or I'm gonna keep it open and you know maybe follow up or something with that. Again, just really turnkey solutions delivered by Chrome OS and the power of the web. It's awesome. All right, so in this booth, um, we're really focused more on AI in the admin console. So. Um, they've got a basic example here, but just imagine for a second being a single admin uh, running a fleet of thousands of uh, Chrome OS devices and you just can't find that one setting. You can't figure out what that one thing is or how to do that one thing. Well, imagine now being able to talk to Gemini and kind of get assistance with where to find something or, you know, I, I need to find these particular devices that have this particular provisioning and like letting AI kind of sort some of this big data out for you. Uh, obviously, that's this is one place where Google is going to start leveraging a lot more AI here. One other thing we did want to point out too is, I mean, they're littered all over this entire conference uh, in every booth, but here I think they put together a nice little showcase of just the, the great options uh, for enterprise workers. So whether you're a high-end executive, frontline worker, all that kind of stuff, there's so many great options. And I've already talked to a couple people today that didn't even realize some of these things exist. So um, for them to get these uh, these particular Chromebooks out in front of everybody. I mean, the new 714, obviously, the CX-54, we've got reviews of these things, fantastic devices with options, especially for enterprise, that go way up in specs, so 16 gigs of RAM, half terabyte storage, Core Ultra 7, that kind of stuff, between both of these touchscreens. Um, but then CTL's new uh, new Chromebook Plus that they've they've just released recently. Um, you've got 16 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs storage, um, and I want to say the price point starts like really aggressively, somewhere around 500, 600 bucks on this one. And then obviously the new Samsung uh, Galaxy Chromebook Plus. A lot of people again just don't know that these things exist, and so uh, having these devices out here and and showcasing them at this event I think is really smart and, and hopefully there'll be a lot of people that come by this booth today and see these and go oh my god like we could deploy Chromebooks now like these are awesome. So in this particular booth uh, we're talking about security endpoints. Um, obviously for enterprise security is a massive massive concern and so Chrome OS um, is, is beginning to be implemented with all sorts of uh, new things and new ways for uh, just security endpoints to be uh, implemented and used. And and so the, the demos here are a little tougher to show off on camera, uh, but the idea being like there's watermarking now on, on any documents. Like you can decide where you wanna have watermarks and stuff. So if somebody screenshots something and sends it, you know exactly where it came from, what device it came from, what the timestamp was on it, all that kind of stuff. But also uh, just the ability to, to block people from copying and pasting sensitive data. Like at an admin level, you have the ability to kind of 
kind of lock this stuff down and stop people from doing that. And not just within Chrome and Chrome OS, uh, but with all the different uh, ecosystem of partners and stuff that, that exist. Um, there, there's all kinds of companies that use, you know, have third party applications that get used with people that are using Chrome Enterprise. And so all of these things can all work together now and understand that, hey, this device can or can't do this, can or can't share that. Um, and so it, the biggest endpoint you have a lot of times in security is people, you know, people wanting to share stuff. And, and so all of these tools can really help to uh, keep that stuff locked down. So as you can see in this particular booth, uh, we're just using a regular webcam and, and an HP Chromebox down there, but the setting here is in a grocery store. And obviously, you know, like digital signage and all that kind of stuff in grocery stores makes a lot of sense with, with Chrome OS and being able to deploy it and, and, and uh, do all those kind of things. But this was really, really interesting. As fun as this whole thing is, not it tracking, you know, my arms and stuff, really what this comes down to is being able to track shopper intent. So being able to have cameras up and around instead of having like regular people um, standing around and taking notes about uh, shoppers habits, um, AI can now do this. And so you could feed it this kind of feed and they could understand like, oh, well, you know, people don't tend to stand over there because they're in the way of this door. Or, you know, if we set that kiosk over there, people don't interact with it because I don't know, the eggs are over there. They don't like the smell of the fish and the, the deli or whatever. Um, they can feed all of this information in at a grocery store or at a Walmart or something like that. And AI can go, huh, well, based on what we're seeing, why don't you try this? Why don't you move this thing over here? It might do better. Um, and so this, this fun little thing is really all here just to show you that, you know, with a webcam and, and Chrome OS, you're able to track kind of some behaviors and stuff like that. So uh, we thought this one was pretty cool. All right, so this is kind of the final booth. Uh, and this is honestly like my favorite. This, when we got to walk through this yesterday, this was the, I don't know. This was a, a really cool thing for me to see because I was honestly convinced that, that these devices were probably running some sort of like native application or something, or like an Android app or something. So I mean, you just see just the smoothness of, of moving through all these menus and like animations and all that kind of stuff. I mean, this is, this is signage for, uh, uh, or a kiosk for a Burger King. So, you know, this is, you would walk up to this and it's got, you know, the ability to scan your rewards card and I don't know what you'd put here, but whatever. Um, it looks like a receipt printer built in here. So whole point of sale thing, all powered by the web. This is all web-based. So this is all PWA. Um, this is all running in Chrome, uh, Chrome OS. And so like, this is amazing. And then over here, we have another version of the same thing, basically, just another company makes it, Elo. Um, I'm not sure what, yeah, I don't know what those old dudes do. Uh, but you know, receipt printer, you got your, um, basic card reader that everyone has seen a thousand times but it's all integrated and works and once again it's all working with chrome os uh it's working i think both of these yeah these signs say this is actually chrome os flex so these are devices they utilize chrome os flex on um web-based application i can you know add some mayo and ketchup and all that stuff i can make my whole order and this is big chicken is that what this is i know this is still this is still burger king right let's see no. Oh, fun fact, the cruise I went on last year, they had a big chicken because their shack was all over the place in this thing. I never got to eat it, but it looks good. But again, you've got a web app, you've got a, a restaurant that has a web application, Chrome OS Flex running, and all the stuff you would need to take orders, print receipts, take your payment, all that kind of stuff, all bundled up into one cool kiosk. And so finally in this booth, um, you know, obviously frontline workers and stuff like that, like we have these detachable Chromebooks. This is the new Lenovo 11 inch. Uh, this is the version that comes with all the protective gear. Uh, we've not seen that, but it's mainly just a case. It's the same tablet that, that we reviewed already and a different way to hold the pen. These are just devices that are kind of out here. What's really cool is down here. If you've ever worked in a restaurant or in retail, you've messed with one of these, I guarantee it. Um, I've never messed with this particular one. I, I can't tell you the number of jobs I've had where I've worked in these. I mean, the, the paper changer, like you get it. It's a laser receipt printer. Or one of these guys, like you've been at Kroger or Publix or whatever you know, grocery store you're at and you can scan stuff. This stuff all just works now. This is all works with Chromebook certified. So all of these things that you need to make enterprise solutions work actually out in the world and not just kind of on a laptop for somebody, um, it all works now and it's, I don't know. This is just really cool to see all this stuff working together. And it's probably more cool in my mind to not only see, obviously Chrome OS is 
is geared towards this kind of stuff. Like Chrome OS is built, was built 10 years ago with this kind of use case in mind. And to see it all starting to line up and come to fruition, seeing companies moving their stuff, moving their stack, moving all of their things to the web to start taking advantage of all of the benefits here, the security benefits, the speed benefits, the savings, the licensing, all that kind of stuff. It's just really cool. It's cool to see this all in one spot. It's super inspiring to know that, you know, we talk about Chromebooks in the consumer market a lot for people to go to Best Buy and pick them up. We've seen Chromebooks grow in, in education, but we're really seeing Chrome OS blow up right now in enterprise. And so that's really cool. Uh, I think it's going to have a trickle down effect on consumers as well. You're just going to see Chrome OS, Chromebooks, web apps and stuff in more and more places. Uh, and it's just a really cool thing. But guys, that's it for this one. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up, head down there, hit that subscribe button. Be sure to ring the notification icon as well. If you'd like to be alerted when we make future videos, just like this one. Till next time, we'll see you.